All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawadar House of David, supporting the GMS Boston, coming with our weekly address. And Lord willing, through the Spirit, this is edifying. Okay? Um, so, you know, uh, if you brothers haven't, I'm sure, quite sure you have. You've seen this video of uh, Captain Tazaria um, going back and forth with Sarnetta concerning, you know, the things in the world, right? Uh, concerning if, you know, if, if the Heavenly Father created any such thing, such as evil or homosexuals, you know, and, and, and to be quite frank, to put it straight out, we're going to push the vibrations of the truth. And, and, and the fact of the reality is the Heavenly Father created everything in this universe. There's nothing going on that was not sanctioned by the Heavenly Father, whether it be good, bad, evil, uh, 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 righteous, black, white, he created it all. To be all all omnipotent, all powerful, all knowing, all seeing is only one way to put it, all right? And he's deserving of all the glory and that honor. Give me Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I got it. Sure. Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Hey, give me Amos chapter 3, verse uh, 6, real quick. The Lord said he created the light and the darkness. Because how? We, we, we talked about the equation of 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 the most high you know uh, one times x equal equal in uh, everything that you see if 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 the, if the most high was never born you know he always was in existence and when you break down his name Yahweh, uh yah which is he and hawa which is to exist when you break it down it's basically everything Everything you see, everything you can't see, everything you can touch, everything you can't touch, everything in this universe belongs to him. This is the book of John 1 and 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made yeah, that right. was made. Because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh made what? He made one thing, which was Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai crafted everything that you see. There can be nothing in existence, all right, without this power, right? Give me um, the book of Amos chapter 3. This is Amos 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid shall there be evil in the city and the lord hath not done it right what is evil or what is wicked right who created the wicked the scriptures say the lord created the wicked for the day of of destruction right so who created the wicked who's the wicked it is esau esau is profane what does profane mean profane means to be outside the temple when you go into as the scripture says in genesis that uh jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents and when you go into that the tabernacles which is the righteousness of the scriptures, to be profane is to be outside the temple. So when we say naturally Esau is a homosexual by nature, he's Satan. He's an adversary. He, he's adverse to life. So yes, who created him? Who created uh, uh, Satan in himself? Go ahead, bro. This is Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, the Lord created all things for himself. How would you know about wickedness if it, if it wasn't for the righteous or vice versa? How would you know about righteousness if it wasn't for wickedness? So the Lord is in control of everything. The Lord, and this is something that, you know, will you apologize? You know, will, will you, do you not know this? You know, when you go and say, you know, I made a mistake uh, and concerning, seeing that you getting cut up by uh, 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 Sarnetta, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, it's a sad day in Israel, all right, for you guys, when, when Sarnetta is going in the scriptures he, he can he can read uh, Jeremiah one and five and clearly see that you know uh, before Jeremiah was formed in the belly, the Heavenly Father ordained him and sanctified him to be a prophet. The scriptures say um, the spirit of the prophets was rejected to the prophets, right? But it, it's, it's the same thing on the left hand side that it is on the right hand side, and, and and meaning that the Heavenly Father created it all, you know. And what are they teaching over in I U S U B K? But the Lord is doing something. He's separating the men from the mice, man. He's separating the spiritual from the carnal. I just wanted to say something really quick, man. You got a lot of people that try to judge the Heavenly Father based on human standards, right? When you think of when you think of what the Heavenly Father is, he's he's above all the things that we experience here. So that means time, that means righteousness, that means wickedness, that means uh, good, bad, uh, uh, long, short. He is he is above all those things. He's not bound by the same things that we're bound by. And the problem is people try to bound him in the way that we are bound. And you can't, man. The Heavenly Father is supernatural. He is hypernatural. He is above nature. He, he is not like anything here on this earth. He is above it all. And you can't fit 
so the scriptures say that he's, he's he stretches out the heavens like a curtain, yeah, that's true. That's true. right? Which means he's outside of that, yeah, right? True. And you're trying to fit something that's outside of all the universe into our our level of thinking. Yeah. That's you know? yeah. Isaiah chapter fifty five verse eight. Right. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Right. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Right. As for the heavens are higher than the earth, right. so are my ways higher than right. yours. And you, and you can't you can't put the heavenly Father in a box, in the box that we're in. We're we're like when you when you think of time, right? There's no such thing as time to the heavenly Father. You be like oh, they, 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 like you you mentioned it just a little while ago. You said that the, the heavenly Father was had, was always he always was right. They, they they think of they they like you have like our detractors meaning like uh, atheists or whatever they'll they'll say things like oh so so who created God then because like, you're 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 bounding him by what we're bound right, by right. we we were created right, right? we yeah. were built we were our parents had sex or what have you but the heavenly Father is above that you can't fit God. him you can't fit him into that box man yeah, He's, he is everything like the brother said and what better way to ensure that all things happen by his will if he's uh by but by being in it but by being in, in everything is what i'm trying to say right controlling yep. right i'll see you uh, every day like, when you when you think of uh like cells when you think of atoms and, and protons and neutrons and all of those things the heavenly father art he is those things yep. he is those things and that's why everything has its, its 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 pattern the way it's supposed to be and the way it's going to be, because the heavenly Father's imprint is on it all. Yeah. If I may add, yeah, yeah, um, you know, one of the most destructive things is time. Yes. Yeah. Time, you can grab the strongest metal, and it will take an X amount of time, whether it be a thousand years, Great that point. metal will turn into shit. Great so point. the heavenly Father is not. So imagine the power of the heavenly Father is. Where he's above that. Where yeah, he's above that's a great point. Uh, uh, corruption. Great point. He can't. He don't see corruption. Everything. Every all materialistic things see corruption, just on that principle alone. And then, and then, and then you take you take a look at uh, uh, every every mm -hmm. single um, organism, right? You could take a look at the ant, which the scriptures tell us to, to look at the ant, right? The ant, they have a principle. Meaning that they have an, an engineered mechanism, and if you look, go into the word engineering, right? It, it's it's something that was th method, method, uh, methodically. methodically thought of, yeah. right? So the so the the structure of how the ant moves, how they they can carry x amount of things, but it was all thought of so that the ants could thrive and be that uh, the animal that it is. Mm -hmm. If it if it goes outside of that. The ants will cease to be ants. All of us. All yeah, of us. Everything that exists, if it goes it's outside of what it's designed. Designed. In. Like for instance, yeah. you can't take a Prius and race it on NASCAR. Right. It's right. not gonna work. It, right. it wasn't designed to be that. Right. And, and if that, you that push car. it all the way, you push a Prius to its max. Right. And you keep pushing it, and you see the the little bolts coming out. Right. 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 Just, Likewise. Yeah. You can't take NASCAR and drive it in the local area. Yeah, that's a beautiful point. Mm -hmm. Time is. Time is, yeah, yeah, time, yeah. time is something that the Most High created. That's why he's called the Ancient of Days. Right. So infinity has a number. You know, we think of infinity as something that's enormous, but it has a number. Like the Heavenly Father knows the beginning of the time because he created, he's outside that. Like to us, the universe is so enormous, we can't even fathom how big it is when you go into galaxies and Milky Ways and black holes, but the Heavenly Father is outside of it. Uh, fire has a measurement, you know what I'm saying? Voice has a sound. And every hair on your head is accounted because we say this to say that you can't fathom right. what the Heavenly Father has going on. You right. know, only thing we can do is just tell you this information, right. you know, and just let it sit in that humble you down to let you know that we we're just uh, are born of women, of which, dirt. Which, which goes to prove that the belief in the Heavenly Father is a gift. Right, that's right. Because when, when people when people start doubting the Heavenly Father, they start asking these questions based on what what the human beings are, yes. right? <laughs> so that means that that goes to show you that it's it's a gift to have faith and belief in the heavenly Father. Go ahead, real quick, just to back you up. Hebrews eleven and six. Yeah, but without right. faith, yeah. it is impossible yeah. to please Him. Yeah. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, yeah. and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. The only way the only way you can believe in Him is if He gives it to you. Right, because it's, 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 there's no there is there's no convincing someone who doesn't understand that he is outside of uh, what we are, uh, that he is he exists. There's no convincing them. You ever try to talk to an atheist? There's no convincing them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like I was, I was talking to this lady at my job. Her, she's got a, she got a son, and uh, he's on the fence because his dad's an atheist and his mother's a Christian. So she's like, "Oh, I want you to talk to him." Because I was like, "Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I can't make no guarantees because I can, I can tell him all the things I want to tell him. I can tell him all the things of the scriptures, but like, he, I can't guarantee he's gonna believe just because I'm saying it. Yeah. It's, it's a gift from the heavenly Father. Either you believe or you don't." And that's why the scriptures say, somebody get, uh, what is that, uh, Romans? What, three and three? Yeah, for what if some did not believe? Oh, no, yeah. Somebody get that? Would you, would you, you have, have something you want to say? I got something. No, I got something. I got a scripture. Okay. I want you to read, read Romans 3 okay. and 3 first. Yeah, somebody hit me with Romans 3 and 3. Uh, Romans 3 verse 3, yeah. for what if some did not believe? Right. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. The Most right. High forbid. Right. God forbid. Right? There's, there's, there's nothing you can say against somebody's faith. And there's nothing you can say to somebody that doesn't have faith. There, this it's a, a, a mute point, as they say. Yep. You you're not going to convince them, and they're not going to convince you. That's why I don't I don't when, when people talk start talking to like like what these Africanic motherfuckers like the fact that Cesare y'all keep going back to this nigga Sardetta is stupid, man. Yeah. What do you what is your what is your purpose? Is your purpose? If, there's a couple things. Is your purpose to convince them? If so, you you you're wasting your time. Is your purpose for fame? Then if that's your purpose. Then by all means, keep going on there, making yourself look like an asshole. But you, there's no convincing somebody that don't believe what you believe, and that's that's in anything in life. Yeah, that's right. That's in anything in life. You you can't make somebody believe what you believe. And scripture hey, say, go in, give your peace if they if yeah, they right. basically right, right. right. That's that's right. That's right. 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 The scripture says, scripture says tell you this. It says, uh, let all men be persuaded in their own mind. That's right. What what persuades you? Uh, and uh, by the scriptures is not going to persuade another person. Even us, being we're all in the truth. There's there was different things that were solidified it for us, right? For each of us, each for each of us, they'll tell. Oh man, when I heard Jeremiah fourteen and two, yeah. that was it, brother. Yeah. There's other people that so when I heard, when I read Romans nine, I, that's what I knew. You know what I mean? So there's there's different brothers that have different things that every man be persuaded in his own mind. And quite frankly, whoever is not persuaded, let that be of their own mind. I don't. I don't try to convince people that don't believe in the Heavenly Father. It's, it's stupid. Right, I got some you know? First Corinthians two. We we'll start at verse twelve. It says, "Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which of the most, which is of the Most High, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of right. the Most High. Right. Which things also we speak not in the words which men's wisdom teaches, right. but which the Holy Spirit teaches right. concerning spiritual things with right. spiritual. Right. But the natural man receive not, right. receiveth not right. the things of the What's Spirit. Yeah, yeah. So yep. For they are of they are foolishness unto him. Right. Neither can he he know them right. because they are spiritually right. discerned. They're, they're, they're foolishness to him. The natural man doesn't know those things. Let the natural man be natural men. Like this, this is this is why we we take the stance. Uh, starting starting with the apostles. We've always taken a stance. What, what, what are we debating about? What are we debating? You don't, you don't believe in God? All right, be on your own then, nigga. What the fuck you need to convince me for about not believing in God? Are you going to ask me questions because you doubt? Yeah. Right? I had this Christian this Christian kid, this uh, Levite. He was a, a kid I grew up with. I went to high school with. And uh, he was a, a holy roller in high school. He was like the biggest Christian on the, you know, Levi, man. Yeah, 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 he's the biggest yeah, yeah. Christian on the planet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now he's an atheist. Yeah, and his, his I, he was like, he was saying, he said to me, he said, uh, um, I know you're a Christian. I go, well, you know, I'm a Christian. He says, I, well, I can tell by the things you're saying. I was like, all right, well, what, what, what of it? What, you know, what do you, what do you care? You know, he says, oh, so you're saying that it's okay to stone people and, I'm like, is that what dissuaded you from being a Christian? That the people get stoned in the scripture? That's called rules, man. That's called, <laughs> you know, you yeah. some you did something wrong, so you got punished for it. How harsh the punishment is? That's up to the person that's uh, executing the punishment, or the person who who sets the expectation, yeah. which is the heavenly Father. That's right. Right. You. Can, I mean, how do you don't you don't tell you know so you don't. What do you not uh, believe in the guy next door to you because he spanks his son? <laughs> you know, he's re he's not real, <laughs> like because he's because he spanked his kid. Like no man, it's they're they're, they're ridiculous. So I don't I don't I don't I don't take those 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 routes. You I know. I have a precept too. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, real quick. Acts Acts five and thirty eight. Oh. It says, um, and now I say unto you, yeah. refrain from, from these men, men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to not. Right, right. Yeah. Keep going. There's more in there. Con, con, I didn't, Salak, I didn't get Oh, that. you got to go up in there, brother. Yeah. But if this counsel be of the Most High, 
you cannot overthrow it. Least happy that you be uh, to fight against the Messiah. 539, it says, um, um, right, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it, right. lest happily ye be found yeah. even to fight against the Most High. That's mm -hmm. it. That's mm -hmm. it. Said, leave, leave, like just, just on the side, by the same token, we're telling them, all right, well, let us leave us our, our vices, man. If, if, if it ain't real, then leave us alone. Time will tell, okay. and, right? Time will tell, right? Like you said, time will uh, uh, like eventually expose what everything is, right? Look at the, look at the example of the Levi cat you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. He was fervent, yeah. you know, at one fervent. time, at one point, and then some time went by, mm -hmm. and then now that that changed. The mm -hmm. whole sentiment changed. Yeah, that's it. I got one very quick. Uh, Second Ezra 15 verse 4 For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's right yeah. All the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness what do, you, what do you do with them? You leave them to their own vices man that, You can't convince Tazar, Tazar So, so, so I want to talk about that a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened with Tazaryak uh, and Saad Netter Saad Netter and I guess Tazaryak I didn't see the the argument But what I did see was post the argument When they were so Netta was basically saying, I got you. I got you, man. You got to admit. I, you know, you got to give me credit. And what I wanted to say to that is, we, I've always told brothers this, right? To speak in the affirmative, right? And it's important to do that, right? When you speak in the affirmative, no one can, can, can use what you are against you, right? For instance, so if somebody says, oh, you're racist, you say, yes, I'm racist. And now you build from there. That, but they can't use it against you because you're not ashamed of it. But when you have a, the, the slightest bit of shame inside of you, that person is going to keep badgering you and badgering you and badgering you. And that's exactly what Sadnet is doing. That's exactly what Sadnet is doing. He can sense the shame. If you have the slightest bit of shame in the scriptures, it's going to show. It's going to show. And this is what they, people try to call us rapists. People try to call us pedophiles. But what do we do? We, we met it head on. You know, you brace yourself. For the wind and the wind blows on you and you and you keep pushing, man. Wow. You keep pushing. Uh, Go ahead. Romans 1 verse 16. Yep. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shah. That's right, brother. For it is the power of the Messiah to salvation to everyone that believes. Right. Yeah, if you, you if you were ashamed of the fact that the Heavenly Father created homosexuals, right. then you were ashamed of the gospel right. of the Heavenly Father. Because then you go, then you, the, the question becomes, yes, now what? Now what? What, what did you ask me that for? Because the purpose of asking you was to put shame on you. Right. So if you now you trying to right. you 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 taking right. the shame, right. then right. now you lose. Right. Right. You lose. And then and then it, 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 I ain't even going to the rape thing. Yeah. But yeah, but let's let's but let's, I, let's I mean, but at least we had that. a guy. We had a guy. This is a couple years ago. He came out. He had his phone. You know how they do. They sit there. They recording us with his phone. And um, I, I went over to check the time on the, on the, on our camera. And he says, "So what is what is what is this y'all doing? What is this y'all doing?" I was like, you know what it is. That's why you got your camera out. You know who we are. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't pull your camera out because you don't know who we are. You yeah. really. You're really trying to wait for us to say something so you can capture it on on, on tape. He's like, yeah. Well, I got a question. Then, uh, what about that rape thing? Y'all, y'all out here raping girls? I said, what do you think? Do you think we're raping girls? He's like, oh, well, I don't know. That's what y'all. That's what y'all leader said. That's what y'all leader said. I was like, yeah, okay. He said it. Now what? <laughs> now what do we? Now what happens? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, so that's y'all, y'all with that? Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. It's, so it, was it true? No, but you, when you speak affirmatively, when you, when you, when you meet the, the, the contention head on, they can't say nothing against you. It's like, it's like boxing. You know how they put you in the corner, right? And when you say, you know, affirmative things to them, you're spinning it's them around, putting them in the right, corner. right. You know what I'm saying? It's and exactly right. Go up like it's a, exactly right. You know what's going it's on. Say he's standing in great boldness. Right. right. You know That's saying? right. I got, Confidence. I got That's this right. right here. This is Luke 21 and 15. Yep. It says, "For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, mm -hmm. which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay right. nor resist." That's it, man. You know. I remember when I was a kid, uh, not a kid, but I was in high school. And um, you, you know, when you when you're in high school, you get a practice uniform, and then you get your yeah, yeah. your away uniform and your home uniform. My practice uniform was small. You know, I'm a, I've always been a chubby kid. Yeah. So what was I gonna do? Was I gonna like try to sag them to make them look a little bit, sag my shorts to make them look a little bit longer? No, I, I hiked them up a little bit further. And I was I was in practice with my shorts all the way up here. <laughs> and now nobody can make fun of me because yeah. I'm making fun of myself. Yeah, that's right. It's the, the same principle.
the same principle. Don't don't ever don't ever be ashamed of nothing that that's in those scriptures, man. That this, these scriptures is what makes us Israelites, man. That's what sets us apart from the heathen nations. The scriptures, the laws, the statutes, commandments, the words of this Bible is what is what is what separates us from the rest of the world, man. Why would you be ashamed of it? What do you what is there to be ashamed of? You should be ashamed of being black. You should be ashamed of calling yourself African American. You should be ashamed that you're in captivity under the basis of men. Those are the things you should be ashamed of, not the scriptures. That's what gives us life. That's right. This is what this is what made this is what made poor people rich. This is what made uh, simple men wise men. You don't. You're not supposed to be ashamed of the scriptures, man. You should be. You should be ashamed of yourself for even allowing yourself to be ashamed. Yes, the Lord made faggots. Why do? You, why are you asking me that? Because there is no reason. They're only asking you to make you ashamed. Now, what do you do? Yes, he made faggots. What for? What? Yeah, for he, he made them so he can destroy them. And if they don't understand that principle, then they, they don't belong talking to you about the scriptures. You know? And you're still giving glory, all glory and That's honor right. to Yahweh by That's right. That's right. The creator of creation, the right. creator of everything. Right. That's right. Like you, you, think of, you think of something as, as, uh, as much as, as nuisance as a, as a mosquito. A mosquito will piss you off. Hey, fuck. When you, you go home from the cookout, you got mosquito bites all over the place. But guess what? The Lord created mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever, you ever get mad? Like, Damn, what the fuck? Motherfucking useless ass mosquitoes. They're not useless. They got, they got a, they got a purpose. The Lord made them for a reason, right? You look at a worm, like a worm. You see a worm. You don't, you don't got no eyes. The motherfucker just swirling around. They look, they look stupid. You know what I mean? Like, what do you, what do you? But a worm has a purpose, a great purpose. It, 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 it keeps the, the land uh, allowing the water to flow through the, the, the soils of the earth, man. That's right. It's a yeah. It says, um, the Lord says in Second Peter that um, basically he created Sodom and Gomorrah to make them to be an example yep. to the... Uh, yeah, get that. What's that? Uh, 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 Second Peter. It says one in Peter. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, homosexuals serve two a purpose. Three. Mm -hmm. I think it is. That's right. While they get done. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, Judah yeah. and Peter's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Can I hit you with this real quick? Um, this is our Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. Yep. For we can do nothing against the truth, That's but it, for the truth. truth. That's it, bro. That's when you stand on that firmness, yeah. If you know that you got the truth, you know, then you shouldn't have to deviate, yeah, uh, uh, into something else, man. Like yeah. uh, same thing with, with the principle of reading of many books. If you know that one book has the truth, why is there right. a need to right. go, go to this book, go to that book, go to that book? So why do I gotta listen to some nigga? Or I gotta listen to this if I know that I got the truth. That's right. You know, like this is why we stick know? to ourselves, man. Because like like there, there's 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 freedom in our independence. When we're not when we're not bound by the uh, expectations of the world. We can say whatever we want to say, right. Right. right? It's the same thing as being a business owner, right? When you become a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, your money doesn't come from Esau, so they can't dictate what you say and do, yeah, right. right? It's the same principle. We stick to ourselves. We don't deal with the, the, the comedic people. We don't deal with the atheists. If anything, we, we, we speak, we make, we, we make lessons out of it, but we don't deal directly with yeah, them yeah, yeah. because now you're bound by the expectations of the people. Right. No, they need to meet our expectations. We're, we're, the Heavenly Father gave us the authority to teach the yeah. word, man. Yeah. They need to meet our expectations, yeah. not theirs. Their, their expectations are the same ones that are in the world. Yeah. Con, right. Hey, the scripture says the truth shall, shall make you free. That's right. That's and right. we're the only ones that's free because we're the only ones that could freely come out here and say how we feel yep. without being bound to anything concerning this world. Right. LeBron James and all these guys, yes, they can't say whatever the hell they want to say. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's this guy's name? Um... Uh, 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 the, the podcast and oh, um, Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. He can't, this, him being Hebrew Israelite is how he feel. Right, he right. saw oppressing us is how he feel deep down inside. Right. Deep down inside, yeah, but he's yeah, not able yeah, to yeah, say what he wants yeah, to say, right. or he can say it, but he has to backtrack what he said. But us, we live freely because we 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 have the truth. Right. The scripture said that the, the, the uh, you shall know the truth, and the, the truth, truth shall make you free. free. So we're not bound by these. These guys are bound by contracts. They right. bound by endorsement deals. Yeah, They're yeah, bound by their jobs. Hey. We, 501c, 501c, the tax charges. Yep, yep. Oh, if we say, uh, we, you can't bring out, uh, you, basically, uh, Romans 9 and 13 is hate speech, right. according to the federal government. Right, right, hey, right. when you when you get when you conform to whatever a society wants you to uh, to uh, to be, 
that means that you're a slave or a sub subservient to that society, man. Right. You know, whenever you 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 accept, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's what's accepted, then that means that you're a slave, you're a slave man. To it, yeah. You're a slave to it. Yeah, so yeah. We're we're not slaves. That's why we're free because right. we're we're not conformed with the mo the that's morale right. of the yeah. society. Yeah. Your child yeah. makes us free, man. And exactly. that's that's no matter how hot the topic gets. Yeah. Right. If a, for a woman be, that's why Paul said that there was a controversy. Yeah. He said, look, if a woman, if a woman uh uh passes the age of her flower, mm -hmm. let him marry. Let him do what he will. He right. sin if not. Right. That's why he had to say it like that. Right. He sin if not because there was somebody that was controversial. Now we gonna stand upon what the scriptures say. Right. We, are we gonna do it in a society? No, but we're happy to tell you how it is according to the scriptures. You got, you got, you got our people are happy with being with a woman that's all used up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's yeah. like it's like you you. You you tell them you know like you know I, I want my woman young and they'll say oh you want to take advantage of her yeah nigga I, yeah. I don't want to argue with my wife yeah, 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 yeah. I want to mold her into what I what I want her to be right. Right. of right. course right. Right. Why, what, what th this is the problem men don't know that their their role in life is to direct right that's your that is your role in a woman's right. life is to direct her and show her where she needs to be right. what she needs to do how she needs to behave herself. But you don't understand that. So you yeah. want a woman that's contentious. You done been with 38 different right. niggas right. by the time she's 19. Right. Yeah. And you just, that's what that's what you want? And that's 38 different spirits on her. Right. 38 different semen she, inside of right. her. Yeah. 38 yeah. different yeah. rods inside of her. Different movements inside of her. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Right. Nobody wants that. You know, Esau tell you that when she's, she's an adult, when she's 18, you, you idiot. She's, she, she's a young lady at the age of 13, 14 that's years right. old. That's right. You idiot. By the time she's 18, that's madness. Just, you know what they used to call those women? Old maids. Old that's where the card game Old Maid yep. came from. Yep. It was about a, it was about women. Women, by the time they were 21, if they hadn't been married, they were considered old maids. Yep. 21. Here in this world, 21. I'm still young. Yeah. I'm still I'm still out here doing yeah, my thing. What's, what the, what, what's the saying the girls say nowadays? Living their best life. Or yeah. Hot girl YOLO and yeah. hot girl summer and all of that shit. <laughs> yeah. 21. You are old bitch. Watch up. Yeah. You're old. You old. And you and you and you you're reaching the end of your your. Your fertile life, man. Yeah. So you're, you're basically getting the scraps because yeah. what these bitches say is, oh, I got to live my life first. Yeah, when I'm around, I should have said, bitch, excuse my name. I don't say that. It's not like yeah. Yeah, 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 but you know, um, so what they say is, yeah, I got to live my, my uh, what is it, my best, best life. life yeah. Me meaning what? I got to go around and be passed around and by the age yeah. of what, 30, right. 28, when right, that's, right. When, that's when they sit, call it settled down. Yeah, no, but, you're but, too but, old. Right. You used right. up. You're like an old newspaper. Right, but where did that mentality come from? Like, Elder, who is it? Uh, I think it was Elder, Elder, Elder Manatasa. He said, you know, don't be if you put a woman on a pedestal, don't be surprised if she looks down upon you. Because that's that's the sentiment that men have given women. You know, that's the sentiment, man. Because this world, you know, has made a front out. I learned, I learned, I learned how to tell how to tell women to shut up. You know how powerful that is, just to tell them to shut up. Because you, what you're telling them is that what I'm saying. Is the, is the the way we're gonna go? Yes, sir, right. This is the direction that we're gonna go in. It, it it has a it has a superficial like oh why are you telling me to shut up? Why are you telling me? But after a while she's like damn. In her mind this nigga telling me to shut up. I like that. Right. Because you, your role is to direct. Right. And exactly. you got you got our men. They don't want to direct. But we're, we're built like that. If I may add, I also read an article on. The, the how to attract women and one in the article they went into that you know he they went off a little bit and saying that you know back in, in tribal ages the men used to direct and all that and but the, the, the truth of the matter is that he said that even to this day in their brain in women's brain they're right. built to follow men follow so when, right. when you're a follower instead of you telling a baby baby what are we going to eat today you say no baby i'm eating we're eating here right. that is going to be a complete turn on on a woman because of the way that her brains is wide. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So going into what you were saying, man, it's a very good thing. I want to read this too. I'm um, going back a little bit. Uh, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirty-six. But if a man think, if a man think that he behaving himself uncommonly toward his virgin, mm. if she pass the flower of her age and needs so require, let him do what he will. He sin if not. Let them marry. So if, if the Apostle Paul was here. There was a conversation being had. On a, yeah, it was, right? Yeah. And if he was on the planet today, he was in the GMS camp saying exactly what we'd be saying. There would be guys that would be, there would be people that would be going against him yeah, right. saying that he's going off, right. you know, according to the scripture. You know what I'm saying? What's, what does it mean to marry? To lay down. What is a, a, 
a, a, a, a virgin. A virgin is a young woman, right. all right? A young woman, if the flower of age is her period. The, the Most High didn't make a mistake when he when he gave a, 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 a young a woman a menstrual. Right. He that's did that for that's her. The that's the nature. How would you know unless she, she had that cycle? Right, She's a man is able to ejaculate when he's 12, 13 years old because he's able to make babies. That's how the Heavenly Father set it up. Heavenly Father didn't make a mistake, right. but this world is so messed up and you guys are so emotional but somebody has somebody got to stand up and defend the gospel somebody has to stand up what no no romans 1 and 25 who changed the truth of the most high to a lie yeah these are basic things right who changed the truth this is the truth this is nature in itself you know this is nature telling you what it is right and then in, 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 you know what's the most messed up thing about this is it's all throughout here in massachusetts the legal age is 16 years old so you you're allowed to be 21 and deal with a 16 year old but all throughout the, the states there's certain, there's different ages Texas, in which I think it's 14. 14. And they just changed it. Yeah. Right here, right? They just changed it recently? Well, I mean, they've been changed it years ago. Years ago. Oh, okay. But, um, but nevertheless, like, this is not like a thing that's like, who's, where's all this anger towards the U.S. government concerning we'll what age you could deal with a woman? We'll it, 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 the, the world has been like this forever. You know what I'm saying? Forever. This whole thing is a, it's a new thing, mm -hmm. but it goes into population control. It has nothing to do with, Esau will let you do whatever sexual uh, deviancy, yeah. sin you want to do, yeah. and again, get as long wife. as so it's not <laughs> getting up young that. and get another wife. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's in this, uh, Romans 125. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of faggots walking up and down the beach. Yep. The moment you say, yeah, man, I think I'm going to give me another wife. Oh! Yeah. Everybody's mad. That, that yeah. was backwards today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The enemy of the state now. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Hey, hey, but look, look how hard it is to raise a child, man. So that's imagine when you're like, when a woman's 23, 24, 25, and then you, they have to raise children, it's way harder than when they're, than when they're younger. When you're in your youth and your primes, that's, that's, when, that's when that's the woman point. should give, that, that's, that, that, that's, where, that's where the woman should give their devotion because think about it, we as men, right? We give our, our prime, our best years to whatever it is that we're getting into. You see, whatever it is, whatever type of work or field, you give your best years because that's, the, that's when your body's physically the best. And it's this, it, it, this, this is what I'm saying. You don't try to outthink the creator. He already thought for us. Why do I got to think extra outside the box? The Lord designed it that way because he knows for a fact that, yeah, a young woman has the ability to raise more children better. They can devote themselves to You wonder to why these 16 year olds be butting heads with their yeah. moms and... And, and, right. and, and be they being so rebellious because they, they're, they're supposed, supposed to be, be giving off yeah. to a man right. by then already yeah. so they don't even know what the hell is going on it's just the in chemical balance yeah. and it's like you sitting there beefing with your mom you putting a 16 year old on punishment give right. that give that woman to a man right. Right. So and let them yeah yeah right. so you could guide her right. and continue on with your life how it was supposed to be according to the right. scriptures and she's gonna soak up like a sponge because she's younger you see another principle real quick is why did it take uh, 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 somebody older to learn things is because you know, from you, you, you have a start and then you have a finish. And the start, you're supposed to be learning and learning, and then you're supposed to stay, you know, whatever lot you was given to on this earth. He that's just, that's, that. that's why he tells you. That's why you know? he tells you it that is. it's okay for you to drop out of school when you're 16. Right. Because he knows from from time you in kindergarten to the time you're 16, he's already indoctrinated that's you true. enough. That's right. So that's you can right. go on. Right. What's the point of saying 16? If you're gonna tell me that. I, I could drop out at, at a certain age. It, it got to be, you cannot drop out of school. Dropping out of school is illegal mm -hmm. or there's no law on it at all. Right. But the point of him telling you that you can do it at 16 is because Are he's already got you. You're, 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 you're already indoctrinated. indoctrinated. You're, you're, you ain't going to change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, quite frankly, by the time they're five, it's really those formative years, right? Yeah. But if uh, Esau makes sure he get that, that extra, extra 11 in there, yeah. <laughs> you know, to, to yeah. really get him. Yeah, for sure, man. That's a great point. And, 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 but the whole point of this is standing on the truth. That's right, that's you know, right. when you come into the, when you first come into the truth, you're, you're taught to, you gotta go by the scriptures, right? It gotta be in the scriptures, right. and then, and then once it's something that comes out of the scriptures, like a rape doctrine or what we talk about now, you niggas wanna shy away from it. Right, it only right. proves that y'all not the men of the Lord, man. Right. Somebody has to ch speak this truth 100 percent and not be ashamed of this doctrine, right. not be ashamed of the gospel. I got something for you. This is Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed 
when he cometh in his glory of his father with the holy angels. Sit, clear, bro. Now, showing you that the, the, how Shah saying, hey, if, you, if you're ashamed of the gospel, you're ashamed of, uh, 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 of the doctrine, all right, guess what, man? He's going to be ashamed of you. So don't be expecting uh, the Most High to look at you uh, with favor oh, because you're doing uh, the things that he, he didn't desire, he didn't, he didn't like. All right? I got one word quick, right? First, Corinthians 15, verse uh, 58, and it says, uh, and it reads, uh, so like, and it says, uh, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always about abiding in the, in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in the vain of the Lord. Be steadfast and unmovable. So what if, if it's, a, it's a shame to this world, the doctrine that we speak? So what? The world, don't, the, the world doesn't agree with us saying that homosexuals will be put to death. Y'all stand firm on that, right? So stand firm on everything, you know? I got Second uh, Ezra chapter 4, verse 1. And the an angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, uh, gave me an answer and said, Thy heart have gone too far in this world, and thinkest thou to comprehend the ways of the Most High? And it goes into what the brother DeBar was saying. The Heavenly Father already laid out the blueprint for us. You know, all we got to do is follow it. And the fact that the world doesn't follow it, all the scissors, the Heavenly Father showing us, look, this is what happens when you don't uh, listen to what I, what I say to do. Look what you got. You got a rebellious woman. You sitting there trying to train a, a whole, she's 31 years old, talking about I'm, I'm young. Yeah, the scriptures say, you know? Go ahead, bro. I'm saying the scriptures say, uh, what you said, train a child, child, right? Yeah. In the way he should never be part, can't un undo uh, long term damage, man, long term suffering. Um, this is, um, if I, you you're done with that? Yep, yep. Uh, Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And the rock yeah. is Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. And what Yahweh Shai is, it was. He's the truth. It's the way, the truth, and the light. That's right. It's just the truth. You know, and you people have a problem with the truth. Right. Why? Because you have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you would do. Right. But even on the same principle, dealing with the truth, the principle applies to every structure, right? Or every, you know, a structure in a building has a, the, the the foundation, foundation is what determines the, the the strength of the structure, whether it's going to fall or it's going to tumble. That applies to every every idea, every idea that you have. If you if 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 some niggas or whoever's um, idea was uh, had a solid foundation, then you know that they should stand on, on what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that 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 uh, 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 has an idea or, or talks or or has an idea, or if you have a strong, solid foundation, then you shouldn't, you know, you don't, you, you know, you won't waver. Yeah, you but if you waver, then that means that, 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 that what you have built is, you know, your foundation is, is based on bullshit. Yeah, Captain Tazari, you know? I was talking about uh, you know? editing the building, uh, editing the film, and you don't want to talk about this because you was getting your ass cut up. If you was firm and, yeah. firm and sharp, you wouldn't yeah. worry about that. Right, right. We don't do no editing. You don't see them been over by now. Yeah. yeah. So I never would have had the, the place to come back and say I got you, nigga, or whatever. You, you, because you still, you would have stood on it. Yes. Because, yeah. because what is, because what the point is, he's trying to say that. Oh, so God, what's what kind of God you following? If he's making right. faggots, that right. man, well, fuck you, man. Yeah. You know. I got, I got one. This second Corinthians. Yeah, you can't turn around and stop you and talk about Horus, you know? Yeah. Horus, uh, the God yeah. of Horus, the yeah. sun, every time he come up and get an erection and, and get smashed by his little fat God in, right. in Egypt. Right. Come on, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Uh, second Corinthians 11 and 3, it says, But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Yahweh's shot. So, you know what I'm saying? They, like brothers were saying earlier, they'll lean on to the worldly ways, all right? And that's what Tazariak and ISUPK, that's what they're all about. That's why they they can't get the simplicity of Yahweh Shah, okay? Or the scriptures, because they, they, they go way to the left, man, and they love it, you know what I'm saying? To, to Tazariak, that's like a uh, entertaining thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's in it. He's in it for just the entertainment. Right. He's, he, it made, the truth made him famous. It made him famous. But then he's he's weak at the truth now because that you entertainment. Don't be lose yeah. that fame. That's it. It's killing them. You cater to women. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I, the big thing is the, your, your, who you cater to, your audience. 
And when you feel that you got to cater to women, the scriptures say, why uh, trunks are not ladies? That's, that's, right that's, that's, what, that's what you do. You get a big audience and you got to watch what you say. We don't give a damn about what we say, as long as it's according to the truth. That's, yeah. that's right. Judge you won't never hear us talk about what we, we need to to edit that part out. That's the reason yeah. why we go live. Yeah, we go raw. Exactly. Raw. We're going to throw this up raw. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what GMS is, though. And that's the reason why they hate us. You know, because we're raw. We ain't doing no post editing and all that. Die as you keep. You know what I mean? All that. We ain't doing none of that, man. Yeah. The great cat. You know what I mean? All these great titles. The, 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 the commanding general, the Anna and captain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. uh, yeah. garments and what yeah, Taylor yeah. fits and yeah, out there. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing all that, man. That's what you. That's what you do. That's what you do when you're not spiritual, man. Yeah, you're carnal. That's first thing. You're not spiritual because because you 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 know we 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 know we understand that every man's going to what of the Lord. We don't we don't need no flashy uh gimmicks. You know we don't need no not to attract no no like a a bug to attract the light because. The, the, the light is your how it shines yeah, and we don't need none of that yeah. right? no, no, right. it's, 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 it's the same principle as the golden calf mm. right when when Rehoboam um, came back from Egypt he knew I'm sorry not Rehoboam uh, Jeroboam sure. when he came back from Egypt what did he do he made two calves because he, he knew that if they started going to uh, Jerusalem to, to go back to the temple to worship that he would lose those ten tribes that's right. so he made two golden calves and that's that's all that, that fancy garment flashy and so that people can be uh, mesmerized by it, man. They need something. Yeah, they sure. need something to look at. They need something tangible. They need something they can yep. see. Yep. Same thing Aaron did the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, Aaron, it was it, the people were impatient. That's why I didn't use that as an example. The people were just being impatient. He was like, all right, all right, all right give me the gold. I'll, I'll make something. Yeah. It was kind of like that. At least that's how yeah, I think yeah. about it when I read the story. Yeah. Yeah. But Jeroboam, there was, it was deliberate. It, only, it proves that he made two. Yeah. He made yeah. two golden calves. Yeah. It was deliberate. He's like, all right, I, I know what can get him. Here, let's do this. Made them two calves. He was like, cause he and he, and he did it in haste. Cause if they would have went to Jerusalem, he knew that the, the, they would have made the the nation solid again. So he, you know, and it was all through the spirit too, of course. But you know, we say that to say that that's what those garments are, man. Those fancy garments. It's for people that you know, Jake. Jake, it's not it's not right if Jake don't have something to. To latch on to with his eyes, you know, if it's not appealing to the eye, you know. I got something for you, uh, Jeremiah two and twenty-three. Uh, thirty-three. So okay. why trimmest thou away thy way to seek love? Right. Therefore, has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Right. The only love that we seek is the love of Yahweh by Shem That's the only love that we seek. And if it's anything outside of that, right, hey, they'll, they'll catch on. Uh, they'll catch on. That's what I. I'm sorry, bro. My mind. That's what my mind has been the last couple of weeks, man. You know, there's, there's, you know, things happen in your life. Things happen in your life, and you, you, what's settling is when you know, you know, the Lord is gonna raise you up one day, man. That's it. The Lord is gonna raise the men of the Lord up, and they're gonna wish they listened. That's it. They're gonna, they're gonna wish, like, damn, that he, he was the commodity. He was the catch. I should have listened. All of those things are gonna happen, man. The Lord is gonna raise us up. We, we're, we're low lives in this world. So why would you worry about what the world thinks about you? Yeah. Yeah. They already think you're beneath them by by calling yourself a black Hebrew Israelite. You the, the world already thinks you're a piece of garbage. So why are you pandering to 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 please them, man? Fuck the world. Yeah. The, the, the script. Give me that one where it says uh, he is friends with the world. Is yeah. enmity with the Most High? Is it James? I think it is James. Um, yeah. Galatians chapter four verse sixteen. Yeah. Am I therefore become your enemy because right. I tell you the truth? Right. Are we are like like like? Are we are we bad people? Then we telling the truth. The only reason why the truth seems bad is because the lies have been told for so long. That's it. You know, you should you should be honored to tell the truth. That's it. You should be honored to hear uh, 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 right things, right? You shouldn't be afraid to hear about right things or to speak right things. It's right. That should be the only thing that should, should matter is whether this. My man, my man, uh, Kevin Samuels, man, he said uh, he always goes, is, but is it true? Yeah. Is it right? And, and if it's right, then who cares if the nigga, whatever, you, whatever you saying he do, is what I'm saying true? Yes. We, okay. We got the raggedy garments on. Mine's getting worse and worse by the week. You know, we got these raggedy garments, right? We, we balding. <laughs> you know what I mean? No lie. You know what I mean? No, no. I mean, some, some, of, some of us got girls, but. You know, no bitches really, you know what I mean? Like we, 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 lame, we, we lame, lame, man. Almost. 
We Rose lames and we, we take that to, to in hopes that we'll be raised up in the end. Hey, hey, hey. And it's a spirit because the Lord went to those the nobles and right. priests people and he asked them to hit the highways and, and, and the edges. Yeah. And what did they say? Oh, I got to get married. I got to the house. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, he said, to hell with them. Go to the lames. Go right. to the weirdos. Right. Right. You know? And, right. and, and out around Rancho's out with those men. We're the weirdos that's willing to uh, right. put our lives on the line for the yeah. truth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mark 8, verse 38. Whosoever they'll fall shall be ashamed of me and, and of my word and with adulterous and, and sinful generation of him also the son of men shall be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father yeah, yeah. with the holy angels. Right. I don't know if the, I, I couldn't quite catch it. There's another scripture too that says we read it. We did we oh y'all y'all we I forgot we split up camp. Um, but the scripture says uh um. He who confesses me before the world, I will confess before my father. Uh, that's a mafia. Yeah, hit, hit, hit me with that one. Hit me with that one, brother. I got James. Yeah, 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 hit, rather, hit me. Hit I'd rather, me. Hit rather, me. Yeah, I'd rather take the L now than yeah, take it in yeah. front of Yahweh Shah when the angels come. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, no, no. But what he just said, it's Proverbs 16 and 19. It says, better it is to be of the yeah. humble spirit yeah. with the lowly than to divide the spoil. Right. What with did the Moses problem? say? Choosing rather to suffer affliction with yep. yep. the people of the yep. most side than to live in the pleasures yep. of sin for a season. Nothing That's it. it. Right? That's what you're doing. Uh, uh, what's his guy? Uh, Tazaria? Captain Tazaria? Yeah, Tazaria. And, you, and you a captain? Come on, man. Who you leading? Who you leading? <laughs> 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 that's the black. Hey, that's the Black Panther, of the Israelite branch, right there. <laughs> uh, Matthew ten. Now you got it, brother. Go ahead. Matthew ten, verse thirty-two. Yeah. Whosoever thou fall shall confess me before men. Yeah. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. That's it, man. That's, uh, don't you want to be confessed before? That's what the Lord is up there for. He's up there to be the intercessor, but you gonna you gonna put away with that or do away with his intercession because you're scared. You know, because you're ashamed. You forgot. You gotta, you know, channel what your honor said. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. You know? Where's that guy at? <laughs> I'd rather listen to General Hunter at this point. You know what? He's second. Know? He's second. Oh, well, what he say? He said, uh, <laughs> if you don't hate white people, God, 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 God hate Where is that guy, man? He's Where is that guy? Chicken shack in it. Oh, yeah. yeah he has a gun shack. That's the last time I saw him. But he wasn't at the gun range, though, but he was on. That the chicken shack, yeah, whatever, yeah, wherever yeah, he was. Yeah, but where yeah, yeah. Is it? I ain't seen that guy hit the highways and byways in, in, in a long time, man. How you, how you the leader of Israel? But you, don't, you, ain't, you ain't teaching them. You only can teach the people that are in your congregation, and they obviously ain't learning shit. Cause look at Desario. Which is the scripture say, the greater thou art, the more humble, humble thyself. Yeah. So we consider the elder apostles. Yeah, they're on the highways and byways, week in and week out, faithfully. Right. Can I, can I say something to that? I remember. When I first came into the truth, they were on 34th and 7th, right? Now, th that block in New York City is one of the most famous blocks in, in, in the world. They make movies on it, right? There's, a, there's movies about that, that area, right? And when, when some, something happened, I think it was a fight or something, and, and they had to leave and lay low for a little while from that spot. And I remember seeing them go to another spot, and it was like, it was nowhere near the... the the, the magnification of 34th and 7th. Just a, they were in front of a store at the, the, the cage pulled down. It was, it was just out there teaching. And I, and I was watching the video and I was looking at, looking at them. There was no change. There was no uh, change in their spirit. They were still as fervent. And it was just out there teaching the word. And I said, man, these are the men of the Lord. These are the men of the Lord. They, they, didn't, they didn't worry about the, the, the luster of 34th and 7th. It didn't stop them from doing what they were right. supposed to do. The lights, they, they, the lights, lights yeah. right? The the downtown Manhattan. Yeah. You know they weren't they weren't they weren't uh, 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 taken away by that man. They were they weren't starstruck by those things, man. They they took the humble route and and, and look they look at look at GMS, man. And where's your hino? Where's your hino? He probably eating right now. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga eating? Chicken shit. Yeah, he man. don't hate <laughs> white man. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm talking about eating. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Isaiah 30 and 20. Although the Lord give you the bread of adversity right. and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner right. anymore. Right. You're see but the, the, teachers, man. the teachers ain't going to be in hiding. They're going to be out there on the highways and byways like the Lord said they would. 
You're going to be out on the highways and byways teaching the word. You're not going to, it's not going to be a thing of, of who's the teachers. You're going to know. Yeah. What, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? You're probably sitting on the couch right now. Right? The apostles are probably reading, yeah. watching videos. Uh, you sure. know, lately, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar has been pulling out his lists again. Mailbag. Yep, yep. Mailbag, mail daily edification. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, they, they, come on, man. Like, what are you doing? Uploading three. Do you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of here? Sitting on the couch, the Lord gonna come in the chariot, pull up in front of, uh, <laughs> pull up in front of your honest house. He gonna look up the window. Oh shit, the Lord out there! You it's too late, nigga. You gonna have his sunglasses on in the Yeah, house. yeah. Charging uh, three hundred dollars per yeah. pass over. Right, right. This is he that um watching the call. Right, right. When the Lord comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. through the Spirit, right. you know, yeah. they yeah. put the, the order of show a day. Right. If he came today. You catch brothers, you know, probably doing a lesson, man. Your ass is sitting, oh, you know what I mean? Got to get up like uh, Kevin, uh, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone when he went to eat his yeah, he went to eat his uh, macaroni and that clock. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, clock went yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, man, you got to get up and start, you know? You got to be ready, but that's that thief. The Lord said yeah, he's going to come as a thief in the yeah, night. That's right. Macaulay Culkin, he, he got the scoop. He was watching. He knew what time he was coming. He set his alarm clock. Hey, think about how you feel, right? If, if you, you, you're, you're. I wouldn't say the general contractor of a, of a con construction. I would say you're the investor, right? Investing in this house that you're building, right? And then you, you're sitting there. You look at the house, and then you'd say, "All right, I'll be back." You know what I'm saying? And then you're gone for a little bit, but then you come back, and then you find your your workers. Not working, or you find your workers. It'll piss you off. The, yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yo, how the fuck will you feel? You're like, That's a great oh, oh, you find your workers like putting, you find your workers uh, uh, putting a board where you didn't tell them to put the board. Yeah. You're like, yo, I told, I, I, look, I, 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 I built my shit this yeah, way. Yeah, I fucking yeah, wrote you a fucking man. Yeah, 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 I told you to put this like this, like this, like that, and then and I come home. I'm coming back. I went for a time. I'm coming back. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm worried. I'm coming back. Yeah, worried. And I'm like, what the. You know, you see this. But you got this nigga. Yo, I, I, I'm out there. Yeah. You got yo, this nigga bro man talking about, I, I wasn't feeling, yeah. I wasn't feeling yeah. how you yeah. had it. Like, oh, you yeah. got a sandwich in his hand. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that would piss somebody. Yeah, that's a great yeah, that point. Yeah, that would take somebody, you know. So, it, hey, man, it's the same yeah. sentiment with the Lord. We, you know why I know why we know this? Because the parable of, um, yeah. of, um. You get it, you get it. Uh, yeah, you you know what I'm talking yeah. about the parable when uh when talents. the the the, you gotta the right talent here. but you gotta the, right the, the, the um the watchman the, the, the one that went to win, build uh, uh you got it right here right oh go ahead if you, if I got I got something real quick this is Revelation oh, 16 and 15 oh, nah, it says behold I is. come as a thief. Yeah. Blessed he that watcheth and keepeth his garment lest he walk naked and they should see his shame. Yeah, oh, Kevin, that's it. Oh, you gave it, gave it the real name, yeah. Oh, oh, the, the, the servant that sent out, um, the it, no, the servant that sent out, uh, uh, uh as a master. I, I, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I, I, really got, I got a quick piece of yeah, 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 yeah. Bring that out. Uh, Matthew 24, so, um, I'll start at verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what I would your Lord doth come, but know this. That if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have Stop suffered. Read that again, brother. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Right, and that's the whole point. The whole point is to catch a... a, a a great servant is to not to let them know when you're coming back because right. that great servant is going to be the one that good. Well, really, you think about a, um, a supervisor. That's why a supervisor is always it's naturally a snitch. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a teacher's pet. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's going <laughs> to... A teacher's pet because you know... He gonna be the one to be, and it's always that one at your job. Like you ain't my boss. Like you know what I mean? When when the, when the, when the supervisor's gone, you kind of lack off, and you gotta watch, be worried of that one. Cause, but that's who you want as when you talk about from an investment standpoint. You want that person on a job. Just when you're working, you don't want that that snitch there. You know what I mean? You see some real They don't like the guy. Tell it. Verse forty-four. Therefore, be 
he also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man coming. Who then is faithful and a wise servant whom his Lord had made ruler over his household to give him a season? It still makes sense to show a day, right? Just to be on point, right? Yeah. If Yahweh Shai came today, did you did you did you give the Lord did you your 15 minutes? Show. You know, did you take 10 minutes, 10, 10, 15 minutes? That's if your show was that out your day to, you know, put in some work. You know, and it's a good way to look at it, man. Verse 46, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. And not just much to say when the Lord come up when that destruction come. You know what I'm saying? That's that you that's how the elect is gonna receive that coverage, man. When all hell is breaking loose and things are happening around you, that covering is gonna be through the Holy Spirit. You being in the spirit, man. I got one real quick of Isaiah 62, verse 6. I have set watch you upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silence. And give him no rest to be established until we make Jerusalem a prince of the earth. So if you sound like a broken record, then so be it. If you can't think of, of an idea to do a show because in your mind, Satan get on you too, oh, man. Oh, Let, don't do that. You did, did that one already. Oh, boy, do it. Oh, boy, oh, I, that's why I said in my I, the last show I did, I said I probably did this show ten times. Right. And I don't want to say, Lord, will I do it another 10 times if the Heavenly Father permit me to do it? Because I'll be damned if I continue to let Satan get in my mind and tell me I already done that show or another brother has already done that show. So what? So what? I was going to add that it's the same message, man. The message hasn't changed. The Lord sent out a message. And that message got to be relayed because it hasn't changed. Yeah. Ezekiel you know was saying the same, same thing same Jeremiah was saying. Same. Jeremiah didn't not say it because Ezekiel said it already. Right. Right. You know? Jews said the same thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Galatians. Right. You read yeah. um, the book Gospels. Yep. Right. Right. How many, what was, Paul, John was saying the same thing Matthew yeah, was saying. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. That's four point of view. Yeah. Right. That's right. Give your point of view. As you, as a, as a man of the Lord, you as a worker, give your point of view. My brother may have done a show. So what? Absolutely. Do it because there's another brother underneath you that's waiting for that bell to go off to click it because he like how you kick it. He like how you tell your, he like how you put your spin on it. He like your precepts. Don't, don't be ashamed or don't be afraid. Don't let nothing hinder you from doing the work. I said before on the show too that, that uh, you know, we know the, the, the precept of, of the, um, the parable of the sheep when the, you know, when the one came in the 99, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know that the Lord rejoiced more. Well, yeah. If you do a show that was done before by another brother, you said the same thing, but there comes somebody that never heard this truth before, comes into this truth because of that. Guess what? Your 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 job, your labor was more uh, of value yep. than yep. than a show that that was done that yep. the and uh, our hopeful member of the elect ha uh, didn't actually hear. Yep. I don't care you know? how many views you get. If it's two views, if it's yeah. three views, it's that them three brothers is waiting for you. To uh, 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 defeat them, man. Defeat them. You know, ain't nobody gonna be like, y'all only got three sheep. I ain't, I ain't gonna go out there and give them no grass. <laughs> you want a thousand sheep? Only got three. So what? <laughs> you know, but I say that because it happens to me, man. Paul said, if you teach, don't you teach yourself first? So it happens to me, man. You fall into these funks, man. But that's part of the game, man. It's part of the game. Satan, yeah. Seven times. Get your ass right back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Satan, I try to tell you in your own voice, you ain't a man of the Lord. You know? Yeah, you're useless. Yeah, you're useless. You're doing this for me. You're going to make it. Right, right. You're going to be destroyed. You're missing it. You know? I can start crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke, brother. It's no joke. Happy birthday. It's a happy birthday. Hey, Y'all got anything? Yeah. You got one more. It's uh, Jeremiah 3 and uh, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. According to the heavenly day. So these pastors, when, uh, I'll never forget when Brother Polite and them came with them with cameras in it. So you can allow these one of these brothers, if the Holy Spirit jumped on one of your brothers and he took one of your daughters, you're going to allow that? They said it with a straight face, man. Yeah, man. Your daughters, they're not, they don't belong to you. You have to you have to raise them up knowing that you're gonna give them to somebody else. That's it. And why not one of your brothers that's in, in the faith and the yep. knowledge? Yep. And we ain't ashamed of that, you know. And we yep. ain't ashamed of the gospel in its in its totality, man. Or, or one of your your brother's sons. Yep. We think we talk about that all the time. Yep. We're yeah. joking around, yep. but we're only setting ourselves up for the kingdom. It's gonna happen, man. Yep. That's right. Yep. You know, I rather give I rather give my daughter to my brother's uh my, my brother's son, who I know my my brother's gonna raise. His son up with certain principles, man. There's nothing wrong with that. 
It happened in ancient world all the time, man. It's okay. It's okay, you know? Oh, man, that's but my seed, man, his seed, that's how you keep the royalty of the family. We're family. Hey, guess what? We are cousins. You think about that. We, one time we left uh, Egypt and we all knew. We all was cousins. Like, you, if you was of the tribe of Joseph, we knew. We could literally pinpoint your 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 your, 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 your dad's dad to a man. So that makes us what? Cousins. Family, man. It's okay. We're family. That's why you know? the scripture goes into that word betrothed, which the definition goes into saying enter into a formal agreement to marry. Yeah. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's in our history. That's in our culture. Okay? So with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to. Double honor to the elders. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf To the next time, we say Shalom. Shalom. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball.